Hi, let's start by first visiting our developer wiki, which is github.com forward slash shepherd forward slash app for developer. Now click on the Unity icon there. The Unity Dev Home Wiki contains lots of useful links which will help you as you develop using AppFork. To start with, you will need to create an account with us and get your keys and create a room where the gameplay will happen. This page here will guide you through all these steps. Once you've noted down, you can proceed to running the sample. Let's go back now. Let's begin by clicking on the sample code link below. This page will contain a high level walkthrough of the code. Now, there are two main files that we will look at appwork.cs, which implements mono behavior and controls the movement of the players, and listener.cs, which gets all the events from the SDK and forwards the relevant ones to appwork.cs. We initialize the SDK with our API key and secret key. Then we register the listener class with the SDK to get event callbacks. We also need to call the update method of appwork in the main Unity update loop. We pick a random username and call connect with it. Once the connection is done, we subscribe and join the game room. Once we've joined, we can start sending our position coordinates using the chat API to everyone in the room. When we receive a chat event, we check if it's from the remote player and if so, forward it to appwork.cs, which will then move the remote player. Now let's download the code from our GitHub repository and see everything in action. Download the contents as a zip file. Now I've already downloaded them on my uh, computer here. Uh, once you've downloaded, simply unzip the contents. Now browse to the scene file in the sample assets folder. And double click on it and launch Unity. Uh, once your Unity editor is launched, we can build and run the sample. I will simply do Command B on my Mac to get this to happen. Now that the sample is running, take a look at the debug info on the top left of the screen. It says connection error 6. This means that there is something wrong with the keys. Now let's go and fix them with the values we noted down earlier from AppHQ. We will open appwork.cs and insert the correct values. Now that the file is open, we can go ahead and edit it. I have stored my keys in a separate file from which I will copy and paste them here. Once done, we can save and run the application again. Uh, this time it should connect successfully. Now that we are connected successfully, we can see the client has joined the game room and will start sending its position coordinates to others in the room as it moves. Let's move around a bit. Now we can walk towards this patch of grass here so that when we join from the second client, we have a landmark to walk towards. Now let's launch a second instance so that we can see the other player move. So we can do this from the command terminal. On Mac, I will need to give the minus n flag so that it launches a new instance. Now this client also starts from the same initial position. 
and we'll walk towards the glass. So we can then see that as I move the player towards each other, they can see each other move. There you see the white capsule moving towards this side. Now this looks a lot more cooler if you were actually running the apps on different machines. As you'll see, the movements of the remote players look quite smooth. Uh, this is because I'm using the LERP transform. Well, uh, that's it for the demo. Uh, you can play around now and see how you can integrate App Warp in your game. Thanks for watching the video and send us a mail on support at shepherds.com if you have further questions.